When it comes to medical procedures, there are few that cause more concern and anxiety than surgery on the spine. That's one of the reasons why the neurosurgery program here at the Detroit Medical Center's Harper University Hospital is so important. And that's also why we're presenting here a series of five reports that will tell you about new, high-tech, cutting-edge procedures that may change the way you view spinal surgery. Dr. Hazem El Tahawe is a DMC neurosurgeon. He has developed an extraordinary expertise in treating complex spinal conditions that require surgery. And that's one reason for the emergence of the DMC as a major referral center for some of the most challenging cases involving spinal surgery. We have an excellent setup at the Detroit Medical Center to manage a wide variety of complex spinal conditions that uh, are typically referred to us from, um, you know, surrounding hospitals and uh, places across the state. Megan Curtis is a neurosurgery nurse practitioner who works closely with Dr. El Tahawi. Dr. El Tahawi has a particular niche with the DMC in their neurosurgery program in that he uses the most state-of-the-art technology and procedures, uh, especially when several years ago incisions for special procedures would be several inches long and be disfiguring and now they're mostly minimally invasive and just up to one inch in diameter. Uh, also, he uses artificial disc replacement that allows people to preserve motion in their spine. Traditional surgery yields a long, sometimes painful recovery, but smaller incisions result in quite a different outcome. The recovery is very, you know, is, is remarkable compared to the um, other approach. Um, I mean, typical hospital stay is uh, maybe two to three days and, you know, people are back to you know natural activities very fast. Patients are definitely looking for minimally invasive. They've seen friends or relatives with large scars or horror stories about longer procedures. And now with the minimally invasive that Dr. El Tahawi uses, it allows for a shorter uh, hospital stay, quicker recuperation. And the use of high-tech materials, such as artificial spinal discs, can also play a vital role. The artificial disc for the cervical and lumbar spine is an actual disc, um, a prosthetic disc that takes the place of the jelly disc that is often herniated out or degenerated in certain patients. And the disc assumes the spot of the previous disc that your body has, so it allows for the mobility. There is no stiffness, practically no need for physical therapy because your body just moves the same way it would have with its previous disc. Please take a look at the five reports in this series on new developments in the area of complex spinal surgery for those of you who may be facing the daunting prospect of surgery on the spine. I think you'll find the reports both informative and reassuring. I'm Emory King.